Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. What the fuck? I'm sorry, brother. After all these years of us sitting in the freezing cold, cheering your name, buying your space food, and we don't get anything more than an Instagram story? I wish I could be more emotional, but I lost all emotion two years ago when you started this pandemic and left us for St. Pete. It's like my old man always said before he threw me into a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I noticed you forgot a certain worldwide juggernaut in your thank you speech. And I assure you, the people at Town Fit Hire will never forgive you. Well, on behalf of Patriot Nation, thank you for the two red hearts you sent. One of them can replace the uh, one you ripped out and shit all over two years ago. An Instagram story. Did your nine-year-old daughter make that? I'm sorry, Tom. You're like a brother to me. So we're going to talk straight like brothers, all right? Brothers fight. Brothers loan each other 45K after a long weekend at Mohegan. Brothers hug and brothers move along. I've always said you owe us nothing. But today, maybe a thank you. I don't know. Maybe you forgot how many uh, freezing cold parking lots I drank through in your career. Canton's gonna be wild. There's millions of Tampa Bay Buck fans everywhere. Not gonna happen. This whole thing's been crazy. You had leaks, brother. A lot of leaks. Your inner circle hasn't been the same since you threw me out of it. Sounds like you got a rat. Is this just some sick plan to go to San Francisco to be their quarterback when they dump Jimmy G? I don't know, brother. It just seems out of character. You haven't been sneaking in nightshades, have you? So what's next? You know, you, you pretty much conquered the world. You got football, you got crypto, you got space food. How about the world of tires? Well, I guess if you get bored, you and Antonio Brown can just take over the USFL or just, you know, get arrested together. I understand. You want to retire and spend more time with your family. Actually, I don't understand. I go to work to avoid my family. So what's Gronk up to now? You can't by any chance get him off those USAA commercials, can you? Uh, I have a problem feeling sad for anybody that retires at 44. I'm gonna work till at least uh, 87. I don't know if Jizz is throwing you a retirement party, but uh, I can bring the Fudgy the Whale if you're eating, uh, you know, Fudgy the Whales. Well, now that you got all this time free, I can free up some of my schedule too, we can hang. You want to come up to the North Shore? I'd love to show you a beef three-way. Remember that time you were shooting this shit with my cousin and I while you were warming up against the Jets in 04? And you wanted to keep talking, but then security wanted to talk to us about something, so we had to go? Man, we had some fucking laughs. Well, it's been real, brother. I guess I'll sign off with you the way you signed off with Patriot Nation. Thank you for 20 great years of Foxborough memories. Congratulations on retiring as the greatest quarterback of all time. You go fuck yourself. I love you very much. Can't believe I had to do that.